Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today you're gonna learn how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.19. So let's get started. Before we get into the tutorial, let me tell you about Apex Hosting. If you click on the first link in the description right now, you can set up a Minecraft server so you can play with your friends online. These people will help you set up your server super fast, no matter if it's Java, no matter if it's Bedrock. Now I like making my own Java servers, but I do own my Bedrock server with them and it is completely amazing. You could control your server from your phone. I mean, how amazing is that? You're on your phone, you're like far away from your house and you could give commands, you could use the commands on your phone so that's pretty amazing so yeah check the first link in the description to get 25% off in your first order with apex hosting now with that said let's get into the tutorial a step number one to download complementary shaders will be to click that second link in the description it will be right there it will be labeled as complementary shaders and that is going to bring you to our written tutorial feel free to scroll through the pages but anyways what matters in here is to click the big button that says download complementary shaders here so let's go ahead and click on that that is going to redirect you over here to the curse first website where we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find 1.19 version as you can see in recent files it should appear on the right if by any chance it doesn't appear in recent files go ahead and check here where it says all the minecraft versions in here and you should be able to find it anyways once we have found the shaders go ahead and click on download file right here that is going to bring you over here where in five seconds the download will start by itself do not click anything do not click the advertisement just wait five seconds and as you can see here in the bottom left the download has finished i'm going to go ahead and drop that file into the desktop so as you can see i'm going to drag it here into the desktop complementary shaders and now we could close from curse forge and we could close from the first link now in order to add those shaders into minecraft we need to get something that will allow us to get shaders in minecraft so we're going to be using iris here because optifine 1.19 is not out yet so we cannot really use optifine i mean i wish we could use optifine i love optifine but iris is actually quite good as well iris with sodium is going to make your game so much better you're going to have your fps boosted even if you're running shaders so go ahead and click on that third link in the description which will bring you to our written tutorial again feel free to go through the pages but the most important thing in here is to click on download iris here go ahead and click on that that is going to bring you over here where we're going to click download now that is going to bring you over here to this website where we're going to download the universal jar go ahead and click on that that is going to start the download immediately in the bottom left for the iris installer as always i'm going to drop it into the desktop let me make this smaller as you can see right here into the desktop now we have the iris installer and we have the complementary shaders now we need to install the iris installer but before you do that you have to make sure that you have java updated on your computer otherwise you might not even see this copy here or when you try to launch it you get a problem so let's get java updated really simple let's go ahead and close this for now and go ahead and click on that fourth link i mean the links are still going to be labeled so it should say something like java 18th that is going to bring you over here scroll a little bit down until you find download java here again this is our written guide if you want to go through all the pages to learn how to do it manually with the screenshots feel free to do that just go ahead and click on download that is going to bring you over here we're going to scroll down find java 18 find windows click on windows and then x64 installer make sure you download the x64 installer click on this blue line right here the blue link that is going to start the download immediately in the bottom left as we can see we're going to drop that into the desktop as usual you guys already know i'm always dropping everything to the desktop if by any chance you can't find the downloads just go through your download folder and it should be there go ahead and drop that into the desktop and now just to finish and make sure that we could run the installer for java 18 we need to run a jar fix first so go ahead and close this last website that we open it and click on that fifth link in the description which will bring you over here again our written guide on how to run a jar fix just click on the download jar fix here that is going to bring you over here where we're going to click this line that says jarfix.exe that is going to immediately start the download in the bottom left as you can see for the jar fix and we're going to drop jar fix into the desktop now we have four files and we need to start working go ahead and close out from all the websites and let's get to work first thing to do is to run the jar fix go ahead and double click on the jar fix when you double click on the jar fix that is going to ask you for administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and then you're going to get this little sign in here meaning that the jar fix runs successfully go ahead and click on ok and now we could get rid of the jar fix installer just get that out of the way now we need to install java 18th go ahead and double click on java 18th that is also going to prompt you with administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and then after that you're going to get the installation menu as you can see for me it says this software has already been installed in your computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to click yes just so you guys could see the process anyways you guys shouldn't get that in the meantime while java 18 install let's get rid of any other java that we have so go ahead and click on search type out of remove programs open that up and in here we're going to type java in the search list go ahead and type java and make sure that the only thing you have in here is java 18th as you can see it says we couldn't find anything to show in here let me go ahead and type it again just to make sure there's nothing many of you won't have anything some of you will have java 8 and some of you will have java 17s or java 7 just make sure that you have java 18th because java 18th is required for the newest versions of minecraft to run modded minecraft so anyways once we have nothing in here just java 18th or nothing again because we're going to install java 18th we could go ahead and close on here and now in here we're going to click next 
next and then just wait for java 18 to install it should be a quite fast process let's just wait for that to finish as you can see that bar is going really really fast it depends on your computer and all of that as you can see it has finished installing go ahead and click on close and now we could even double check let's go back to auto remove programs type that down there click java or type java in here and as you can see we have java things now installed that is the only thing that we should have now we could go ahead and close out from auto remove programs and we should have these three things left let's move the java things out of the way leaving us with these two things iris installer and complementary shaders now before we install iris we need to make sure that we run minecraft 1.19 at least once if we don't run minecraft the iris installer won't know where to install so we need to run minecraft at least once go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher run minecraft and then come back here once you have done that go ahead and double click on the iris installer that is going to bring up this little menu in here which says iris and sodium in here obviously make sure it says iris and sodium then select 1.19 and click install should be quite fast actually and you will know it's already installed when it says installation succeeded here in the bottom go ahead and close out from the installer and we can remove it from the desktop or from wherever we had it now let's go ahead and launch minecraft click on minecraft launcher let's i'm just going to type it down here minecraft launcher and let's wait for that to open if you install this successfully you should have the iris down here in the bottom left as you will see right now as you can see i have it automatically selected in the bottom left if it's not showing there go to installations and make sure that modded is selected as you can see here modded is selected if that doesn't work just click on new installation name this whatever you want and then in the latest release change it for iris fabric loader 1.19 as you can see it's usually in the top if not scroll down until you find it anyways once we have that click on create on the bottom and you should have an iris installation anyways most of you will have the iris it should look like this with this icon in here now how do we add the shader pack into it go ahead and click on this folder in here that is going to open the folder for that minecraft instance it's going to open the folder for iris we could go ahead and minimize the launcher in the background and in here we're going to look for another folder called shader packs as you can see i have it right here shader packs if that folder doesn't exist like for example i'm gonna get rid of mine right now there is no shader packs folder what do you do just right click click new folder shader pack is the name shader packs with an s at the end so you can see now i created my own folder go ahead and open it it should be empty and drop complementary shaders into there now we have dropped complementary shaders into the shader packs folder we could go ahead and launch minecraft to try it out make sure you launch the right minecraft the iris with sodium or iris and sodium one with 1.19 version go ahead and click on play and let's wait for that to load as you can see i'm in minecraft already i'm gonna go ahead and make a big screen i'm going to click on single player and i'm going to launch my hardcore world that i've been playing i started playing this hardcore world like two days ago now that we're in the game how do we add the shaders press escape click options video settings go to shader packs and in here select the complementary shaders i'm going to go ahead and select it i'm going to click apply and let's wait for that to load it should be actually not that long if it takes a little bit long just let it don't click anything because it might crash on you so just let it load and as you can see after i click done 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 it has been applied obviously it's nighttime right now so it's harder to see but that is complementary shaders right there if you press k it actually disables them as you can see right there and if you press k again it loads them back up let's wait for that and another way to access that folder is to press o if you press o you could access your folder over here so just press o out here and then it opens this app where you could open your shader pack folder where you could drop other shaders or anything like that as a way to add shaders and to add complementary shaders into minecraft i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye